since we are done with the properties of parallelogram, we're going to deal with now with the special parallelograms. Um, just to give you a note, um, the properties of parallelogram are also properties of rhombus, rectangle, and square. So, ibig sabihin kung ano man yung mga properties na meron ng parallelogram, so tinataglay din yun nung tatlo, nung rectangle, rhombus, at square. So, therefore, in rectangle, rhombus, square, yung opposite sides nila ay congruent din, just like in parallelogram. So, in rectangle, rhombus, and square, yung opposite angles nila ay congruent din. And the others, or the rest. So, yun po yung note. Kasi, itong rectangle, rhombus, at square, ay still parallelogram pa rin yan. So, therefore, yung five properties ng parallelogram kanina na um, tinakal natin ay tinataglay din netong tatlo. So, what we're going to do now is to um, discuss the additional properties. So, yung additional properties po, yun po yung dahilan kung bakit sila naging special parallelogram. So, there are additional features. So, let's have now first rectangle. In rectangle, we have two additional properties. So, the first one is all interior angles are right angle or measures 90 degrees. The other additional property is diagonals are congruent. So, this is the note. All properties of parallelogram are also properties of rectangle. Yun na nga po yung inexplain ko kanina. Ngayon, isa-isahin natin tong dalawa so that you will be able to understand it well. What makes the rectangle special? So, ito po yung sagot. Dahil in rectangle, all interior angles are right angle. So, ano yung mga interior angles na tinutukoy natin dito? So, we have here the angle L and then angle I, angle V, and angle E. So, itong apat na angles na to ay right angle. Therefore, they measure 90 degrees. Ang angle L ay 90, angle I ay 90 degrees, angle V 90, as well as angle E. So, 90 degrees. So, ganun lang po kasimple yung property natin at madaling maintindihan. So, the next property is, Diagonals are congruent. So, this is the other additional property of rectangle. Diagonals are congruent. Ito po ay iba or different from diagonals bisect each other. In diagonals bisect each other, yung kalahati, pag hinati mo yung isang diagonal, yung dalawang kalahati nun ay equal. So, yun yung diagonals bisect each other. Yung kalahati or yung nahati ang equal. But here in rectangle, ang binabanggit dito ay yung mismong dalawang diagonal ang congruent. So, diagonals are congruent. So, let's have first the diagonal. So, diagonal LV and diagonal IE. So, as simple as that, so LV is congruent to IE. So, yun po yung additional property ng rectangle. Now, if LV is 25, then IE is also 25. So, those are the additional properties of rectangle. Number one is all interior angles are right angles. And the next one is diagonals are congruent. Next is the rhombus. In rhombus, we have three additional properties. So, if you're going to take a look at the figure, it looks like a parallelogram dahil dun sa slanted na sides niya. Unlike in rectangle at saka square, so walang slanted na sides. What makes it special is in rhombus, all sides are congruent. So, yun yung pinagkaiba niya dun sa regular na parallelogram. In regular parallelogram kasi, yung opposite sides lang ang congruent. But here in rhombus, lahat ng sides ay congruent. So that's what make rhombus special. All sides are congruent. So another additional properties are diagonal bisect the vertex angle 
and diagonals are perpendicular bisector of each other. So again, yung note natin, all properties of a parallelogram are also properties of rhombus. So therefore, in rhombus, yung opposite angles niya ay congruent, ang opposite sides niya ay congruent, and the rest of the properties of a parallelogram. The first additional property of rhombus is all sides are congruent. So napakadali lang naman. Ang CA, side CA, AR, RE, and side CE, so they are all congruent. Therefore, kung ang CA ay 14, so the rest of the sides are also 14. So ang AR ay 14, ang RE ay 14, ang CE ay 14. So next one, diagonals bisect the vertex angle. So yung vertex angle, nabanggit ko na to kanina. So ito yung, uh, one example of the vertex angle, itong angle C. Or if we're going to use three letters, so that is angle A, C, E. The first thing we need to do here is to draw a diagonal. So we have here diagonal CR or diagonal RC. Ngayon itong diagonal RC, it bisect the vertex angle. So again, itong diagonal RC, it bisect the vertex angle. So hinati niya yung vertex angle. So for example, ito yung vertex angle natin, angle A, C, E. So RC, diagonal, hahatiin niya yung angle A, C, E. So let's separate it from the figure muna. So yan, para makita natin yung um, angle at saka yung diagonal. So again, RC bisect ACE. So ibig sabihin, yung um, ACE ay mahahati sa dalawang angle. So ano yung dalawang angle na nabuo natin ngayon? So we have ACR. So ito po yung ACR. So angle ACR and angle E. C, R. So, ito po yung dalawang angle na nabuo nung hinati nung RC yung angle A, C, E. And since we are using the word bisect, itong A, C, R or angle A, C, R and angle E, C, R are congruent. So, yun po yung bottom line nung ating um, statement or property. So, A, C, R is congruent to ECR. So that is for rhombus. Therefore, kung ang angle ACR measures 52 degrees, so the measurement of ECR is also 52 degrees. So that is the meaning of the property. The last additional property of rhombus is diagonals are perpendicular by sector to each other. So we're going to deal with the keyword here or keywords perpendicular by sector. So again, we're going to draw diagonals. So we're going to draw two diagonals. So we have here diagonals RC and diagonals AE. Since they intersect, so let's have the point of intersection and let's name it as point O. Now we have two diagonals. Let's define the word perpendicular. Kasi ito yung bagong word. But I think this is not really new. Kasi na-encounter nyo na to before in your prior levels or grade level. So the meaning of perpendicular is intersects and forms a right angle. So ano yung nag-intersect? Yung dalawang diagonal. So again, when we say perpendicular, yung dalawang lines, which is yung diagonal RC at AE ay nag-intersect, and at the same time, they form right angle. So therefore, here in rhombus, kapag nag-intersect yung dalawang diagonal, they will form right angle. So that is the right angle. So we can conclude now that Angle COA is a right angle or it measures 90 degrees. So we still have three, three right angles here. 
So, as point O, as its vertex, ito po yung vertex niya, yung point O. So, the other angles are AOR, angle AOR, so it is also a right angle, angle ROE, and angle COE. So, angle COE, AOR, and ROE are also right angles. So, yun pong ibig sabihin ng perpendicular. But we have here the word bisector. Ibig sabihin, yung CO and OR ay equal or congruent. So, kung ang CO ay 11, ang OR ay 11. So, parang diagonals bisect each other lang din yan. So, therefore also, ang AO ay congruent sa EO. So, that is our last additional property for rhombus. The last special parallelogram is the square. Now, we are not going to explain further the additional properties of the square. Why? Kasi ang square po, siya po ang sumalo lahat ng mga properties na diniscuss natin. So, ibig sabihin yung properties ng parallelogram, yung additional properties ng rectangle, additional properties ng rhombus, Lahat po ng yun ay tinataglay ng square. So, kaya kung makikita po ninyo dito, so, ang additional property ng square ay all interior angles are right angle. Which is property ng rectangle. So, another additional property ng square ay diagonals are congruent. So, which is also a property of rectangle. Ngayon here, sa figure natin yung angle G, so, yung FGD, so that is right angle. Nakikita nyo naman po yung ating symbol. So, kapag may symbol na square, so ibig sabihin right angle yun. And the rest is also right angle like GFE, FED, and EDG. They are also right angle. And diagonals are congruent, so yung GE and FD in square are congruent. So, another additional properties ng square ay all sides are equal or congruent na makikita natin sa rhombus. So, yung GF, FE, ED, and DG are all congruent. And last, or not the last one, second to the last one, ay diagonals bisect the vertex angle, which is also a property of a rhombus. And the last one is Diagonals are perpendicular by sector of each other, which is also a property of rhombus. So again, we have the note here. All properties of parallelogram are also properties of um, this one should be square. Okay, now, so let's have now the summary of our topic for today. So let's have a review, a quick review. So, the properties of parallelogram, so opposite sides are congruent, opposite angles are congruent, adjacent angles or consecutive angles are supplementary, diagonals bisect each other, and triangles formed by a diagonal are congruent. Let's move to the special parallelograms. The first one is rectangle, and this is, or these are the additional properties. All interior angles are right angle, diagonals are congruent, and for rhombus, all sides are congruent, diagonals bisect the vertex angle, and diagonals are perpendicular by sector of each other. And for the square, so all properties of rectangle and rhombus. And the note, all properties of parallelogram are also properties of rectangular rhombus and square. Now, for the understanding, so you have to uh, know or uh, memorize kung ano yung property in a specific figure. For example, um, all sides are congruent. So, saan property yun? All sides are congruent ay property ng rhombus at ng square. So, you have to identify that. So, dapat malaman nyo na kapag um, nabanggit yung isang certain property, so, dapat alam nyo kung property ng anong 
paralelogram yun. So, yun po yung dapat nyong maalala. So, last one for example. Um, diagonals are congruent. So, when we say diagonals are congruent, so, saan siya nagpo-fall? So, or property ng ano yun? Diagonals are congruent. So, that is a property of rectangle and square as well.